Okay, everybody, now joined by Gareth Southgate, ready to take your questions this evening. Once again, a reminder to raise your virtual hand and if you can limit to one question per person with the option of a follow-up. We'll start with Alex Howell from BBC Sport. Hi, Gareth. Hi, Alex. Hi, um, if I could just ask about uh, Trent Alexander-Arnold, please. Have you had a chance to find out what the injury is? Um, well, it, it's, uh, it looks like thigh, um, but we don't know the extent at the moment. Um, clearly, it's not a good sign that he had to um, walk off and looked in some discomfort with it. So, um, But we'll know more in the next 24, 48 hours. OK, thank you. And um, just sorry to ask about this pre-match. I'm not sure. Did you hear the uh, booing from the fans uh, of the taking of the knee and just kind of what you thought about that? Yeah, I think um, I did hear it. It's not um, it's not something on behalf of our black players that I, that I wanted to hear because it feels as though it's a criticism of them. I think we have got a situation where some people seem to think it's a political stand that they don't agree with. Um, that's not the reason that the players are doing it. We're supporting each other. Um, so I was pleased that that was drowned out by the majority of the crowd, but we can't deny the fact that it happened. And um, I think the most important thing for our players to know is that all their teammates, all the staff are, are fully supportive. I think the majority of people understand it. I think some people aren't quite understanding the message. Um, and I suppose we're, we're seeing that across a number of football grounds at the moment. Thanks, Alex. Next, we'll go to Thank Simon you. Peach from Press Association. Hi, um, Gareth. Returning, um, returning to Trent, it, it doesn't look a good situation. Um, have you spoken to him? And also, what's the situation with Jack Grealish? Was there an issue there? And Jordan Henderson, we'd, we'd expect to see him tonight as well. Um, with with Trent, I've just had a, had a, uh, a brief word as he came off, and then again in the in the changing room. So um, with uh, Jack, um, we just felt that that was enough time. He, he's, as I think you can see, still a little bit of uh, sharpness still coming, and um, we didn't want to overplay him uh, through that period. Uh, with Jordan, we had hoped to involve him today. That was the original plan. Uh, this morning, he wasn't so happy with how he felt. Um, we've scanned him just to be certain. There's no problem on the scan, so he'll be able to resume training. But we've taken a decision to um, to leave him out of this game. OK, thanks, Simon. Uh, plenty of hands, so if we can keep it to one per person, that'd be great. Duncan Wright, the sun. Hi, Gav. Um... Tyrone Mings in the first half looked a forearm, strong forearm in the face of the Austrian striker. Did, did you see that? And was that a concern? Because with VAR in the Euros, that would be a potential red and a penalty. I, I have to say, I, I haven't, didn't see it and haven't seen it. It's first I've heard about it. So I'll, I'll have to have a look, um, have a look back. Thanks, Duncan. Uh, James Olly, ESPN. Hi, Gareth. Um, you spoke about these younger players not having the baggage from uh, previous tournaments. I know it's only the warm-up, but did Saka and Bellingham tonight epitomise that for you? Yeah, I thought they were both excellent. It's um, They were as they've been since they walked through the door, really, with us. Um, both in training and in the matches, they've played with confidence, they've played with freedom, um, they've played with maturity. Uh, I thought Bukayo... Right from the start, he linked the game really well. He he received well on the line. He received well inside. He's got a lovely um, ability to to receive in that traffic in the middle of the field and and manip You know, is is like a, a slippery eel getting away from uh, from those challenges. Um, nice run on the outside to, with a little cutback cross. So. Yeah, I, I thought his all, his all round game, and he works defensively well for the team. So, uh, it, really pleased for, with him and for him to to get the goal. And Jude, you, you can't help but marvel at you know the performance of a of a boy that age. Really, I, I, it's a bit disrespectful to he's a boy because he's seventeen, but he's not a boy, is he? He, he plays like a man. Um, 
I, I would just say that you know he's still of course learning uh, the understanding he's probably running more than he needs to if anything he got cramped towards the end it's um, that efficiency that uh, he can still learn but his ability to receive under pressure his calmness on the ball um, he competes he wants to uh, compete he's not you know even in training sessions with us right from the start he didn't hold back and look at the senior players he's in there and uh yeah, he, he should be really proud of his first start. Thanks, James. Uh, Jacob Steinberg, The Guardian. Hi, Gareth. Um, has uh, Jesse Lingard tonight potentially given you something to think about if, if Trent is out? Because he was involved in the goal and, and had a pretty good game, you know, even though he's not in that squad at the moment. Well, Jesse's response to the whole situation has been immense, as has Prowsey and um, and Ollie, um, you know, really difficult situation for those lads to to miss out as they have, but show the commitment, the the Jesse to to be able to play from the start. We had obviously um, had the illness with Jaden, but we we wanted to keep these boys involved, um, you know as much as anything to keep the group together but also there are, there's always this possibility that we could get more injuries and those players that are with us are, will be those standby players so um, really pleased with their attitude um, for Oli and Prowse it was a really um, difficult 25 minutes because we had lost players we would made a lot of changes to the shape we had players going down with cramp they had to fill in in different positions so um, they, they showed a, a terrific mentality to do that. Thanks, Jacob. And we'll finish with uh, Matt Law from The Telegraph. Hi, hey, Gareth. Hi, Matt. Um, I just wondered, when when were the, or when or are the players who are not in the 26-man squad due, due to go back, as it were, or due to go home? And will you have to keep any around now while you wait on news of Trent, who, who might have gone home otherwise? Well, those all the players are going to stay with us through to the end of Sunday's game, anyway. So, um, and uh, obviously, we, we'll make an assessment on the whole squad once we've got through that game. Um, you know, I'm very conscious we've got another 90 minutes to get through, and um, that that alone is is a bit of a challenge for us, really. Thanks, everybody. We'll finish it there. Thanks for joining us this evening.